So, uh, hi, uh, welcome to the lecture series on uh, CN data structure. Uh, in the previous lectures, we have seen uh, the basic building blocks of a computer. We have seen what, how to write an algorithm for a given problem and how to draw a flowchart for the given problem. Uh, in today's lecture, let us see how to write pseudocode for a given problem in addition to algorithm and flowchart. So, hope everyone are clear about how to write the algorithm and flowchart. So, let me give you a quick recap. Algorithm is nothing but a, a set of instructions which are used for uh, describing the solution to a given problem. Uh, and flowchart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. So, now let us see what is a pseudocode. So, if you consider an uh, algorithm, it is an informal language uh, which helps in developing the pseudocode. Pseudocode is uh, intermediate between the algorithm and the program. So, it is a form, it can be considered as a formal language. The pseudocode would be very, uh, very much similar to that of a programming language that we are using. And uh, pseudocode can be easily interpreted by the programmer alone. This, it cannot be easily interpreted by a normal human being, uh, unlike the algorithm. So, unlike Algorithm is an informal language, so everyone would be able to understand what an algorithm is about to say. But pseudocode, it can be easily interpreted only by the programmer. So let us take this example of determining the student's final grade given four marks. So this student grade is calculated by, uh, uh, is determined by calculating the average of the four marks. So based on the average, if the average is greater than 50, student is considered to have passed. And if the average is less than 50, student is considered to have failed in the particular uh, semester or the academic year. So this, this is the algorithm for that particular problem. And now let us see how to write the pseudocode for this given problem. So as I said, uh, it is an intermediate between algorithm and program. It was almost similar to that of computer language. So initially, we have to receive inputs, right? So for that, either you can use the keyword input or read. So you can, uh, if you write it as input m1, m2, m3, m4, is correct, or you can write as read m1 into m3 m4. So this particular word read and input is used to indicate that you are going to get the input from the user. So in the algorithm here, you see we have written like calculate the average by summing and dividing by four. Everything we have written in a uh, conversation manner, but in pseudocode you should not write like this. So in pseudocode you should write like uh, what are what are we going to do? We are summing the numbers and we are uh, dividing by 4, which will give you the average. So, the grade is equal to, uh, grade is a variable name. You can use any other variable names. Equal to sum of 4 numbers, m1, m2, m3, m4, divided by 4. So, this value will be stored in the grade. In the next step, in algorithm, either if average is below 50, we have written like this. But, here you have to use it in the, uh, with the help of uh, operators. So, if it is below means if it is less than, correct? So, below can be indicated with the help of less than operator. So, here instead of average, we have using the uh, variable grade. So, if grade is less than, this less than symbol is used. If it is an algorithm, we can write like if grade is less than, this less than can be written in words. But in pseudocode, you should not write like this. So, we have used the operator less than comparison, comparison operator has been used here. So, if grade less than 50, then you have to print fade. This condition is false, else you have to print pass. And this if loop, if loop we have opened right, so this if has to be terminated. So end if we have used. So this is the pseudocode for that particular problem. So if you see here, this is the algorithm. Now if we compare these two, you could uh, get the difference between how to write an algorithm and how to write the pseudocode. So, so this we have already seen. Now let us see one more example. See, for this particular flow chart, I have uh, 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 parallelly I have written the pseudocode. So if you look at both, you will be able to understand it easily. So now, if I want to calculate uh, uh, the length in centimeters, if the length is given in feet, this is the algorithm which I have discussed in the last video. And this is the flowchart which was also discussed. So let us now write the pseudocode. So initially what you have to do, see in algorithm you will write uh, like start the process, end the process, those things are not required in pseudocode. So for receiving the input, you have to use the keyword input or read. So read length in feet or input length in feet. Next, what you have to do? There, what did we do? Calculate the length in centimeters by multiplying length in feet by 30. We have written like that, right? 
So we have written a conversation manner. Calculate the length in centimeter by multiplying length in feet with 30. Here we should not write like this. So we should write it as an expression. So length in centimeter equal to length in feet into 30. So uh, this value will be stored in LCM. And now uh, for displaying the result, we have to use the keyword print. So print LCM will print the length in centimeter. So this is the pseudocode for calculating the length in centimeter given the length in feet. So hope you understood how to write a pseudocode. Uh, so, so far you are clear with the, and this is for calculating the uh, length of a rectangle. So initially you have to uh, get the input for length and width. Next area equal to n into w. Next, the uh, third step will be printing the area. So hope you are clear with uh, how to write an algorithm and uh, how to draw a flowchart and how to write a pseudocode for a given problem. So from the next lecture series, we will go into the uh, C program. So initially, we will start with seeing the uh, structure of C program and then we will dive deep into it. Hope you understood the session. Thanks for watching.